What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in Counter-Strike Global Offensive for the PC or Mac. Now this is going to be very helpful for you guys if you're on a slower computer or on a MacBook and you are having trouble running Counter-Strike. Now of course the first thing you would obviously do is turn down your in-game settings, but if that still doesn't give you the FPS you need, then this video is the video for you. I'm going to be going over launch options for Counter-Strike strike that give it a huge FPS boost. All right guys, so first you're going to go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, right click on it and go down to properties and then click on set launch options. Now as you can see here, I have a bunch of gibberish in here and I'm going to explain what all of these do. I know what pretty much every single one of these does except for this no this no this nod 3D 90x thing. This is one of the biggest FPS boosters. I do not know what it does, but it definitely works. All these other things here, I will be able to explain to you. So if you guys are ever experiencing any uh, sound delay, uh, you can just put dash SND underscore open all in uh, your launch options and that will uh, help you if you're having any problems with sound delay. That is another thing. I also have another video about that kind of topic and if you want to see that then the link is in the description on how to fix your audio delay in CSGO. Now this dash high part, this is basically going to tell your computer, PC or Mac, to make CSGO a high priority, which means it puts all the other background programs on the back burner. Now this could be a good thing or bad thing because most likely when you're running CSGO, it's the only thing running on your computer. There's no Google Chrome, there's no Safari open, there's nothing else open, it's just, it's just CSGO. So this is really going to be useful. Uh, maybe if your computer does sometimes like to focus on other things, uh, you can just put this in here. If it does increase your FPS, then leave it. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and take it out because it will be useful. Now this next one, dash no vid. What this does is it takes away those two startup screens where it shows source and valve. It takes away those so you get to the actual game a little bit faster. So that's going to be a little bit more of a convenience thing than an FPS booster. But it does help you get into your game faster. So that's why I'm including it in this video. Now this next one here is no joy. Now don't worry, this doesn't make the game bad or anything. It doesn't take all the joy out of the game. What this stands for is no joystick. Now basically it means that you won't be able to connect a controller like, you know, a game, a Steam game pad while you're playing and it and it, it boosts uh, uh, you know 10 to 20 FPS because your computer isn't you know waiting or expecting a controller to be plugged in anytime it's just going to be disabled now again I talked about this in the intro this nod 3d 90x I have no idea what it does but it gives you a ginormous FPS boost this is the biggest FPS boost and it doesn't change anything visually in the game nothing that you can really notice and it gives you about a 50 FPS boost that is a huge FPS boost now again Again, this, this is just from my experience for you guys it could be different but when I added this launch option here it gave me I went from 90 FPS to 130 okay so it adds around 50 to 50 40 to 50 FPS and that's pretty good all right guys now this next one is dash freak 60 so this stands for frequency 60 and this is basically going to be your monitor refresh rate so if you're on a Mac it's going to be 60 all Macs have a refresh rate of 60 Hertz now if you're on a slower computer then you most likely also have a 60 Hertz monitor because if you're on a slow computer having a 144 Hertz monitor would make absolutely no sense because your computer can't run the game at 144 Hertz so basically you're most likely if you're watching this video you have a 60 Hertz monitor so you're going to put dash F R E Q and then put a space and then your then the number 60. Now after that we have dash refresh and what this does is it refreshes your game constantly so that way it's not focused on doing anything else but refreshing your game and it keeps everything up to date. Okay guys, now this next one here is CL underscore force preload one. Now this sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but it is a really cool and helpful little tweak you can put into your uh, little uh, launch options. Now what this does is it forces your computer to load the entire map that you are joining before you actually join in. So it loads all the textures and it pre-renders everything before you get into the game, which saves you quite a bit of pain, you know, because sometimes you'll start a game and you'll be lagging for you know a few minutes and then your FPS will sort of sort of even out. 
So what this does is it makes your computer load the entire map before you get in. So that way you're always running at your highest FPS possible and your computer isn't forcing or focusing on loading in these extra textures when it could have just loaded in at the loading screen. So you're gonna notice longer loading times, but it is worth it for that extra FPS. All right, guys, I hope that helped you guys out. Once you are done typing all this in, again, it is all in the description. You can just copy and paste. Go ahead and click OK, and then you are set to go. So once you do set these launch options, go ahead and restart your computer. I would definitely recommend restarting your computer and then starting up Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, please leave in the comments how much FPS you got from this video. Leave the FPS you had before the video, and now label the FPS you have after. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.